Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. I have a haul to share with you from Yama's Delight. And I think I ripped the, I feel like they're out of North Carolina. Yeah. Um, this is their business card. This is the first time I've gotten a business card from Yama's Delight. Now, it has been quite a while since I've ordered. Um, just like everybody else, I'm just, I'm trying to be more mindful, more, um, I don't know, showing some self-control and not ordering a lot. But I didn't have any Yama's Delight and I haven't had it for a while and she does run sales from time to time. Um, they offer some bath products, candles, souffles, clamshells. I always get the scent shot cups. It's the only thing I've ever tried. Um, definitely have discovered some favorites. I think this time I really went kind of all new with the exception of maybe one or two. So get yourself a snack, pour yourself a drink get cozy. So she sent a sam two samples and this is the first one in strawberry guava cone and um, it's the strawberry and guava together are really nice. Yeah this is like super creamy almost like a almost like a candy but not it's not artificial smelling just creamy and yummy and her scent shot cups are so adorable. So there is that one. And you guys, this is the same size as the scent shot cups that I purchased. So super generous and kind and really, really appreciate that. I'm going to put this over here. Um, and then the other one is Cocoa Beach. Yeah, I'm like her labels, adorable. I'm going to show you all of them. Cocoa Beach has watermelon punch, vanilla ice cream, salty air, and mandarin. So this is layered. And it has a little bit of glitter. So with her scent shot cups, depending on how strong they smell on cold. I usually just cut them in half, but I feel like some of these, I could probably cut them in quarters because they, they're pretty substantial. And this is yummy too. This sort of reminds me of a, like an orange creamsicle. I'm not really smelling any watermelon. I've only had this, this has been sitting here for a couple days, but when I look at that, it makes me think of candy corn. Okay. Sorry, I have, I'm a little tired. Um, so, I, a lot of the times, try to get four of everything, just so that if I do cut them in half or quarters, that I can warm them more than once, like in my um, open concept area, even if it means like, you know, shutting a warmer off or two. But a lot of this stuff, I would put four in, and then when I go to check out, it didn't have that quantity. So that's why some things I have four of, some I have one. Um, this is a key lime cone. I did write down scent notes, but I did not sniff everything. So again, and key lime cone is key lime sugar cookie and vanilla ice cream. Oh, it's delicious key lime. Yes. Perfect time of year to be warming this. Oh, it smells amazing. This smells like it's going to be pretty darn strong. And I think I showed you guys the label. Um, I did pick up four of those. Sorry, it's like 102 outside today but my house I like to keep my house like I've told you guys icy icy cold because I don't want to be sweating in my house you go outside to do that this next one is called madly in love and it is strawberry white cake and pink frosting the colors on this are beautiful 
Ooh. So I don't know if that's her strawberry or if that is pink frosting. I was thinking pink frosting was pink sugar. But this smells very cherry. It's good, but look at that, how gorgeous. Yeah, I'm not sure. Strawberry white cake and pink frosting. Like I said, a lot of these I haven't, well, most of these I've never tried. So I have three of those and they're really good. Since her stuff is ready to ship, I, I don't care if I feel like warming something today, tomorrow, um, I will. Kind of over the whole having to cure things. Then I got Pound Puppy um, because of the name. But again, adorable label. And it's strawberry pound cake. Yep. I do like strawberry pound cake still. I'm not tired of it in June. Yeah, see, that's not... I thought maybe that's what I was smelling in the... Madly in Love. Is that what it was called? Yeah, but that's not... That wasn't strawberry. So maybe that pink... That pink frosting is cherry. I don't know. Anyway, really pretty again. And I think I tried to get more than two of these, but that's all that um, it was allowing me to purchase. So again, I just, those labels, right? And I will say everything came beautifully, beautifully packaged. It came in a box. Um, and then they were inside like a cellophane bag. Some of the bags had hearts on them and then it was tied in ribbon and the stuff was packaged beautifully with lots of um, worms. And I don't, were there packing peanuts? There may have been, but beautiful, beautiful eye for detail. Um, attention, I should say, attention to detail. Okay. Barbie's Beach House. Now, I know several months ago when she was having a sale, I went on to try to get Barbie's Beach House and it was out of stock. So, uh, the odds were in my favor this time and I was able to get it. Now, if I can find the scent notes, because why would I do that alphabetically? Barbie's Beach House is, um, it says beaches, an aquatic blend, frosted pink cake, and vanilla ice cream. Boy, I was really on a, a lot of stuff I have has vanilla ice cream. Really pretty. Let me smell the bottom of this. Ooh, this is really nice. Yeah, this one's kind of hard to describe. Frosted pink cake, vanilla ice cream, beaches, which is an aquatic blend. So I would think like salty sea air, like beach grass or something. I don't know, but I'm very interested to warm this. And I did get four. Four of those. Did I show the label? I'm sorry. Um, what do we have next? Ooh. Mint to be fresh. Right? Yes. Pretty. They're all pretty labels show you. Oh, this smells so good. So, so good. Um, mint to be fresh is rosemary, herbs, and mint. I love, love, love rosemary and mint. Really pretty. So I have two of those. Again, I'm sure I wanted more. Um, but that will be wonderful to warm in my kitchen. Then I have Float On, which is, oh my gosh, vanilla ice cream, passion fruit, limeade, and orange creamsicle. Ooh, very nice. The passion fruit mixed with the 
orange and the limeade. Very, very nice. Oops, sorry. I bang into that. Yeah, this smells pretty strong too. And again, with the label, if I didn't show it. Um, this is two. This is Drops of Sunshine. Love the name. Freshly squeezed orange juice over yellow cake and almond glaze. Yes. This is delicious. Ooh, the bottom, I'm definitely getting a lot of the almond. And that orange. Oh, this is good. This is making my mouth water. It smells a little bit, like a little light, but, um, that's that. Just really pretty. And I am a big fan of scent shot cups. I know people that don't like cutting wax don't like them, but I don't know. I just, I think it's one of my favorite, my favorite ways that, um, wax comes. This one I wanted to get like a hundred of, but she didn't have any. So I'm assuming this is a pretty popular one. This is My Friend Karma. And it is, oh my God, it's so flipping good. It's patchouli, lemongrass, and orange oil. Oh, this is magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. Okay, I had to stop the first part of that video. I have a sick, I say child, <laughs> um, and he muted me, so I'll just splice these together. But anyway, I was talking about my friend Karma. You guys, I wanted so many more of these, but she didn't have them, which is fine. I'm very grateful I have one. I think I told you guys it's... Um, where are my scent notes? Patchouli, lemongrass, and orange oil. And I don't know if this is a lush dupe. Isn't Karma like a lush type? This might be, but this is absolutely beautiful. Oh, fantastic patchouli. Again, you would have to, I would say, very much enjoy patchouli for this one. Um, Baby Bunny. Baby Bunny is sugarcane, coconut milk, musk, vanilla, and orchid. And snow cream. Did I write that down right? Oh, this is very pretty. Not really floral. Well, it's a vanilla orchid, so I don't, I don't think that's like floral. I think it's more like creamy um yeah I'm excited to try this one I'm just gonna warm this on so I thought it would be maybe a mixer but I'm curious so I may just do this one in my bedroom baby bunny adorable name this one I have had before and I was able to grab four of them and you guys, honestly, I think in this order, like maybe one lid came like a tiny little bit, um, like chipped on the end, but not, was it this one? But not that it doesn't, like you can still put the lid on it. You know what I mean? So this is Moon Over Manhattan. Um, and the scent notes for this are Palo Santo and Fire Roasted Marshmallow. And it is fantastic. Oh my gosh. It is great. You really get that. Roasty, toasty marshmallow and the Palo um, in there. And I love this one. Anywhere. a little bit. Uh, what else do we have? Watermelon Blow Pop. I know. I'm not a ginormous watermelon person, but um, 
like bubble gum. I do, I get a craving for it every once in a while. I have to be in the mood for watermelon. Oh, and this smells so good. And watermelon um, blow pop is juicy watermelon punch, bubble gum, and blow pop. So I don't, is blow pop in a whale? I don't know. Oh, this is so good. It's like those charms. Is that the brand charms blow pop? Oh, I love to those. <laughs> How pretty is that? Oh, and that does smell really good. Another one that has my mouth watering. It could be because I am hungry. Yep, so two, two of those. Um, deep fried strawberry dough. I've been curious about this one. It's strawberry bread and cinnamon sugar donuts. Hmm. Yeah, you definitely get that, um, oh my gosh, find your words. Like bready note. And I don't, it's not like yeasty. Okay, I'm not totally sure if I love this one. I don't know, though. That's why we warm our wax. But adorable. Uh, okay, a few more. This is cookies and jam. Look at that little bear surrounded by blueberries. I think they're blueberries. Okay, so cookies and jam, right? I said that, is blueberry muffins and Danish butter cookies. Ooh, yeah, definitely blueberry muffin. This is good. I'm coming around a bit more to blueberry. Blueberry is like a September. I don't know why. I have months for different scents. But this is good. I picked up a few, a few of those. Um, for the love of sugar. Absolutely love that label of the cotton candy. And for the love of sugar is pink sugar, the Alkalina uh, pink sugar dupe. Which, shockingly, I don't have any pink sugar in my wax. I used to have so much of it. Maybe I burnt myself out on it for a bit. But I'm definitely back to loving it. And it'll be nice to warm this. Yeah. Just like the Aqualina Pink Sugar. I think this is another one that I tried to get several of. Um, then we have Amelia. Right? That's what that says. Yes. Okay, and Amelia is green tea, lime, and crisp cucumber. I think I put like six in my cart. And then I went down to five. They still didn't have it. This is really good. I feel like it's a different take on um, green tea and cucumber. And there's lime in here too, but this is really, really nice. So I have two these. Um, again, like I'll warm this in my kitchen, but I also, I would love this in my bedroom as well. So that smells pretty darn good. Very happy that I could grab some of those. This is Cookie Pop. And Cookie Pop is roasted marshmallows, buttery sugar cookies, sweet buttercream frosting, and white cake. Ooh, yummy bakery. Again, I'm hungry my mouth is watering. This is buttery deliciousness. Those sugar cookies, yes, they are buttery. You get the cake, the buttercream frosting. I'm not detecting the marshmallow. Ooh, I just got a little whiff on the top. Oh, that's good. Again, yummy. 
Yummy Delicious Bakery. Did I show you guys? Yummy. Okay. And two more and we are done. This is where the river runs. Um, green Ivy. I think I wrote Brazilian Orange. Italian Lemon. Rose, Ylang Ylang, and Violet, which part of that is the um, Mountain Fresh Game. I don't know if the whole thing is, but yeah, this is definitely 100% laundry. Uh, I'm not a big, huge laundry fan. Now, there are exceptions. Like, I love, um, oh my gosh, what is it? Pink Clothes on the Line from Rose Girls. But listen... I do laundry all, <laughs> all the time. I don't, I don't need to like, I don't want my house, my whole house to smell like this. It is a very clean, it is spot on gain. And it's very, it's very good. But this will be, um, I love the name of it. This will be one that I will warm in my, <laughs> in my laundry room and also in the boys, um, in the boys' bathroom. It is really good. And if you are a laundry lover, definitely 100% check this one out because um, I think you would really, really, really enjoy it. I am so very, very happy with my entire order. And this last one is cucumber water, which is cucumber, aloe, grapefruit, and melons. Oh, this is very pretty. Oh, that's good. You get the grapefruit, more of the grapefruit I'm getting like on the bottom and the melons. I'm a little stuffy. We spent a lot of time in the pool yesterday and had a cookout. Um, my sister-in-law flew back to Boston last night. She had been with us for two, about, well, yeah, two weeks. Uh, my mother-in-law had also been here. She went home sooner. She was only here for a few days. She had other commitments. And then my brother-in-law flew out from California. So we had a nice time. Um, but my sister-in-law stayed. She always comes around the time the kids get out of school. And um, we all hang out and have a good time. And, you know, play games at night. And swim in the pool. And laugh. And stay up too late. Um, anyway, I was talking about cucumber water. Really, really pretty. Super happy I got this one. And I cannot wait to warm it. I mean, I'm excited about all of these, you guys. Like I said, I think the only one that I've had is um, Moon Over Manhattan, I think. Yeah, so all really, really great. And that is that, Lebo. So very happy with my Yummer's Delight order. Oh, I am not, I'm trying really hard and it shouldn't be hard to try because I have enough wax. Um, so I just have to um, not look at vendors pages and shop my stash and I'm not a hoarder. I'm a wax warmer. And that's just, I have to keep telling myself that. I don't, you know, having too much wax isn't, it doesn't make me feel good to have too much of it because that's like, God, am I ever going to get through the, all of this? I just want to have, you know, stuff that I like, buy from vendors whose wax performs well for me, which means not feeling the need to buy from every single vendor, not keeping up with restocks and pre-orders and all the things. Um, because I'm 100% not adding any more, like, shell not that I have shelving, but, like, draw units to my house or anything like that. So, if I don't have room for it, I'm not buying it. And I already know exactly where my Yammer's Delight is going. I have a full empty drawer, so I am good to put that there. <laughs> And that is everything. I hope that you are all having a wonderful weekend, that you are all happy and healthy. 
and um, happy melting. I'll see you guys in my next one.